Hi everyone, welcome to this another video in Market Tech YouTube channel. So today it's going to be a very interesting session for people who are interested in swing trading, financial strategy and uh, cash market uh, trading. So let us start with this uh, what is all about a lunar cycle based swing trading strategy and then we will see how to use that and how to benefit from this strategy. First we will understand about lunar cycle. So there are three things in the lunar cycle. One is called full moon and is called next is called a new moon and then is called no moon. So what are those three is for we'll try to understand first. So I'm just opening the Jagannatha Hora. This software, this is free and anybody can uh, download this. So you can just go to Google and uh, type uh, Jagannatha uh, Jagannatha Hora software. Okay, then you'll be able to go to the website. You can download this. And this is the best thing to use actually than anything else. So that once you download this install, you'll get this uh, software actually. So we'll uh, try to create one data uh, for this uh, Jagannatha Hora and uh, type uh, just update the date here, total uh, date, time, everything, and then you will get the look put the location in Mumbai, and then you will get the Jagannatha Hora. Now you have to understand only two. You have to see only two things here: the Rashi chart, Sun, Moon. What is the placement you have to see? Okay, whenever Sun and Moon are in the exactly opposite place then it is called full moon so for that you can see the list of all the dates of a full moon new moon you can see just you can type google you can type a full moon dates roughly you will get the dates what is available for example 18th march was the last full moon day 18th march 2022 so what we will do here we will go here and type here march 18 2022 we will put some time okay let us put some time for time being and then tell, okay now you can see here sun moon are in the opposite place and it is now full moon exactly and for that see normally the full moon you will get some dates in the calendar and all but uh, to precisely to understand what is the full moon we need to know the look uh, what's the degrees of the sun, sun and moon actually now sun moon are in the opposite uh, houses actually what opposite houses like this okay seventh house this is the first house two three four five six seven the seventh house is the opposite house actually okay it's not like this opposite house Seventh house from the sun is the opposite house for the moon. Now you have to see sun what is the degree and moon what is the degree. Now moon is slightly below the sun actually. Now let us select here the hour and then move on to the right. One hour after that what happens then one hour you can just keep on adding the one hour and then you can see the moon degree is changing from one degree to two degree and so on. Now you can see it has come to three degrees. Now it's a perfect moon, full moon actually, as per the astrology. Okay, so this way how you have to know what is a full moon day. Now 18th March was a holiday here for us. So for the purpose of our lunar cycle swing trading, we can consider 17th March closing as a full. I means for the purchase of a stocks or sell of stock, whatever. We'll see about the what is it. Now you understand what is full moon. Then it's a perfect full moon and it's an auspicious time. And anybody like a born on full moon, they're going to do well in their life actually. So, and particularly when the sun, degrees of sun and moon are both are same, then it is very very auspicious and is good for everybody, anybody, anything uh, they do on the full moon day. Now, let us come to the Amavasya. Okay, now let us see Amavasya. No Amavasya dates, Amavasya or no moon, no moon. We will see what is it. Amavasya dates 2022. So, now we will see here uh, 1st April 2022 is the next date. What is that? 1st April 2022. Now, we will go and change date here April. 1 2022. Now, if you see here, sun moon are the same house. When sun moon are the same house, the Amavasya or no moon or new moon will come. We'll see what's a no moon or new moon. Two concepts are there. Everybody will know Amavasya only, but there are two, uh, small thin line of differences there between that actually. What is that? Now, moon is 17 degrees, sun is 17 degrees. Exactly. If you see slightly, the minutes it is slightly ahead actually. This time around 12 o'clock midnight, uh, we are just crossing. Moon is crossing the sun. And this is called new moon. It is very very auspicious, auspicious and the full moon also actually. So this is very very auspicious and you just go behind let's say one hour will go behind. When you go behind one hour now moon is behind the sun by one degree. The sun is 17 degree and the moon is 16 degree and now this is very very inauspicious. Sun moon is uh, having like in this combination same house any house it may be when moon is behind the sun the degrees by even even small by one minute also even by less than one minute also it is not auspicious it is called no moon it is called no moon when the moon is behind the sun by degrees and when the moon is crossing the sun it is called new moon okay new moon is auspicious but no moon is inauspicious 
So whenever you want to see your birth chart, whenever you born, somebody telling Amavasya, look at these things and these degrees. And when you see the moon degrees more than the sun, then definitely it is auspicious and you will do very very good in your life. Okay, so this is the concept of sun, uh, moon, and how the lunar cycle form: low moon, new moon, and full moon. So these three concepts is very important for this lunar cycle based trading. Now we know how to find the full moon, new moon, new moon, and for and ready for uh, taking the trades position for our lunar cycle based swing trading strategy. Now we are going to see the three things here: last six months performance, how this cycle, the form will, uh, this uh, lunar cycle based trading will do in the last six months. And we'll do some FNO stocks and then some cash stocks and then we'll see comparison with buy and hold and all these things we are going to compare in a very simple way. Now for this strategy, I made one uh, sheet actually. So this one sheet I have made actually. Now in this uh, thing, what we are going to do is uh, we are breaking that uh, long cycle. Long cycle means Shukla Baksha or new moon. You know, we just saw new moon, full moon, and low moon. We are buying. We are going to buy the stocks or uh, any long position. We will take on the new moon and uh, sell the stock position, long position on the full moon. This is a long cycle, long cycle or Shukla Paksha cycle. And then here, short cycle means you. What to do is you take a reverse position now on the full moon cycle. Double your water position. You have long cycle so that you will make a short position. You sell on the full moon and uh, score off your position on the short cycle in the new moon. So this is what the simple concept of lunar cycle. This is what you have to do. Rule number one for these three rules you have to follow very strictly. One is that you have to buy on a full moon or no moon. Sorry, uh, buy on a new moon or no moon. Amavasya. Simply Amavasya you have to buy, and then on for me or full moon you have to sell. This is the only thing you have to follow. Rule number one. Rule number two. This strategy you, have, you can uh, better avoid in the month of January, and then in the month of uh, uh, January if you avoid this better actually. Or you can continue. You can just uh, it's optional. It's optional. This rule number two is uh, optional. You can manage if you want, or you can ignore it. And uh, third rule number is uh, whenever you enter the position, the closing time, what our rate is there? That is the rate you consider for this position. And then two percent stop loss from the rate where you enter the position you have to take. For example, the full moon cycle. This uh, long cycle formed uh, came on second March actually. Second March, uh, you can see here the date. Uh, you can check the. Uh, no Amavasya dates for second March. Okay, let us see here. Date second March. Let me just show you second March. Let us see here. It's second March. What's happening? March second. Second March. You can see here Amavasya. What time here roughly? Let us see the hour. After some uh, five or six hours, you should be seeing that uh, Amavasya coming to new moon. So two o'clock, roughly two o'clock, March second is the time where roughly around the closing of second March we will be seeing the Amavasya. So we have taken the second March is a long cycle. What we are taking here. So this is the rate. Automatically, I am getting the rates here using this in the on Microsoft 365. You have an option called the stock history function. Using the stock history function, you can get the rates here automatically. So there is no uh, hard work to be done on this regard. Okay, if any stocks, you will get the rates. When you are entering this rate here, this is the closing rate for the second March. And the stop loss will be two percent below this. Okay, you can see here the rate two percent below the buying price is your stop loss. Similarly, when you are selling anything, two percent above this will be your stop loss here. So this is the two percent stop loss you have to apply for anything you are buying, whether Nifty, Bank Nifty, cash stocks, uh, any stocks you are buying, whatever. This one you have to follow strictly the rule actually. Okay, now <coughs> these are three rules you have to follow how to do it. And now what you have done here is comparing that in the last two years, like in starting from 1st January 2020 and till now 25th March you are holding. In 2020, what was the uh, okay? 2020, what was the benefit you got? And 2021 and 2022, uh, two years together, 2022, both the years. Uh, what is the profit you are gaining here? And the total gain, the last uh, two years and almost 25 months, uh, 24 plus three months, roughly 27 months. What is the profit you are gaining? That we are seeing. This is option one. This is one buy and hold for last almost twenty seven months. This is the profit you are gaining here, and this is last six months performance. If you are buying on this date, which is nothing but you are on sixth October. Uh, now roughly we are going to complete now uh, six months now. Sixth October starting, you are buying there and holding till date. This is the closing price for twenty fifth March. You are closing and holding this date. Six months. What is the benefit you are seeing here? Buy and holding for last six months. 
and now if you are trading nifty no, because some stocks you are not able to uh, sell actually you can only buy and hold or sell the square of a position that's the only thing you can do now luna cycle in fno stocks you can square up also make first short and then you can buy also so that possibilities are in the fno stock segment so there you are just using fno stock segment you are buying also and short selling also there how much gain you can make and cash stocks only you buy only you buy on the start of the uh, new moon cycle and uh, new moon and amavasya you buy and then sell on the full moon only thing you will do 15 days you just don't buy anything and just keep cash in cash three options we are seeing here and this also fourth option so all these options we are going to compare for each and everything and see how it has done good in the last 6 months and whatever the lunar cycle now let us see for nifty first we will see the nifty result what happened actually nifty if you see here the entire last two years 27 months 4000 5000 points gain was there but in the nifty in case of nifty last 6 months we lost 590 500 points roughly actually But using lunar cycle uh, FNO segment, we gain three thousand six hundred points here. And here in case of lunar cycle, only in the lunar cycle you buy here cash. Okay, Nifty you can buy or sell. But assuming that you just uh, go, want to be your bullish, and then you want to just buy only, then you gain thousand three sixty five points here. And now let us see here Nifty Bank. Nifty Bank will see. In case of Nifty Bank, if you see here. We and if you just buy and hold, we just lost two thousand points here in case of a bank nifty, and in case of swing trading using the long and then short positions, we gain eight thousand points in case of bank nifty, and in case of lunar cycle swing trading, we just made three thousand points here just buying here because in case of bank nifty you can do both buying and selling here, but the interesting part is in the FNO segment how you are going to make money here. If you just see, we we'll start from the FNO stock top fifteen twenty stocks we will see here one by one. If you see Reliance here, Reliance uh, we made only 36 points gain in the last six months actually. But using the swing trading, you can do if you just go for shorting and long position, 617 points and then here buying and only buying. If you are interested, don't want to trade in the FNO segment and you are interested only buying in the cash segment, cash stocks. Maybe you buy 10, 15 shares, whatever. 300 points would be gain actually. And stop loss was not hit. If you see in the last six months, stop loss was not hit for the cash segments for the Reliance here. Just buy and hold. And now it's a TCS. TCS, if you see here, it is a tremendous thing. Like almost one hundred points we lost actually, buying and holding in last six months. Next, nothing happened for TCS, but uh, following the lower cycle, we gained at least three hundred points gain actually. And then here, if you see here, HDFC Bank, HDFC Bank uh, is another amazing result for lower cycle. Now uh, we lost one eighty four points uh, based on buy and hold. Even the last twenty seven months of uh, buying and holding, HDFC Bank has just gained say one sixty four points. Nothing is so great. But the lower cycle was very good result. One thirty five points gain in just uh, last six months only. Last six months only buying and holding would have made almost one thirty five points gain actually in the HDFC Bank. Now next thing is the Infosys. Infosys, if you see another beautiful result, four six two points gain. And then here, if you see uh, for the last twenty seven months, one thousand one thousand one thousand one thirty five points. And then here the FNO segment was very good return. Buying and hold was only two hundred points gain in the Nifty actually, Infosys actually. ICC Bank, ICC Bank ten only point ten only ten points gain for buy and hold. So there is the the point is very very clear that you are buying and holding just think long term investment that is not going to give any return. If you see six months of fifteen fifteen days you just keep in cash and the fifteen days you just buy and then sell buy on the Amavasya sell on the uh, full moon and that is giving you eighty five points actually. You got eighty five points uh, gain. Almost eight times of what you could have made in the buying and hold strategy for ICC Bank. And if you see for uh, next is Hindustan Unilever. Hindustan Unilever is a very very uh, interesting case where many people are very obsessed with the FMCG stock and Hindustan Unilever is a long term bet all these things. If you see in the last twenty seven months, twenty uh, four points only they gained actually. Now it means like one point per month means what kind of loss we see by buying the Indian Unilever stock and holding the positions there. We not made any money at all in Indian Unilever in the last twenty seven months. If you hold for last seven months, six months, seven thirty points loss actually. But the lunar cycle we would have gained in the FNO segment for buying and just buying here and selling here, short selling. Even if you are buying in cash segment, still you are made in loss actually. You are because of stop loss hit here. First month, second month was lost. Second, third month, out of six months, roughly we are just making small, small gains and loss using big in the Hindi Sun Unilever. So Hindi Sun Unilever in the last twenty seven months, thirty months, nothing has happened and it's a big loss for the you know, trade investors. 
if you see the state bank of india state bank of india in this case it is very good gain for uh, rural cycle fmo but in the cash segment also it is almost three times of the benefit you got instead of buying and holding you just buy from the uh, cash stocks uh, buy even 20 stocks what are 20 stocks 30 stocks you buy also assume you just uh, buy for one lakh rupees investment uh, you just see 83 points here uh, maybe i can just uh, try what is the return of investment also we can make so what is the uh, cost or uh, number of shares here if you see the rate 457 is the rate here and then now uh, 1 lakh rupees how much of shares you can buy you can see here also let us see it is taking a lot of uh, no calculations actually 47 rupees and how many shares you can buy so you can just uh, we'll tell here uh, m round come on so you can see how many shares you can buy also we can see so 1 lakh rupees your investment is 200 shares you could buy and then 200 into 219 so this is a profit you could have gained actually 18,000 rupees is a profit you could gain in the 6 months time so this is a profit also we will get here what is the 1 lakh rupees profit would have given in the last 6 months time with 1 lakh investment in the state bank of India stock just buying in the Amavasya and the selling on the full moon and after the 15 days you just hold cash if whatever rate it may go, wherever it goes, whether it goes up, down, whatever, you don't bother, you just don't buy at all. This is a strategy you're going to use. And now Bajaj Finance. Bajaj Finance, if you see what's happening. Now here Bajaj Finance, you would have made some profit here, but uh, the profit is very, very less. Uh, here you would have buy and hold is a loss here. But at least uh, by uh, you following the rules very strictly, you made 600 points here. Some of the rupees profit would have made actually. HDFC. HG is a very very disastrous performance actually just made 3000 rupees profit in the last 6 months here at least uh, you would have more, not lost actually buying and holding would have lost so much money in the last 27 months uh, just 140 points loss actually HGFC was uh, everybody is crazy for HGFC and it does not get any wealth addition actually in the last 2 years and uh, coming to Bharati Airtel coming to Bharati Airtel <coughs> if you see here the buying and holding uh, during lunar cycle, 87 points gain, 12,000 rupees profit was possible actually with this uh, lunar cycle based cash trading. See, my suggestion, sincere suggestion would be like uh, do not go for F1 stocks uh, in the stock segment for buying uh, option or uh, uh, stock futures, whatever, unless otherwise you are very proficient uh, because it needs it needs a lot of um, control in your emotions. Uh, and if you are a working professional, trading in stock or options or futures should be avoided. This is my sincere suggestion. If you can manage, it's nothing like that. But if you are uh, working and uh, trying to trade in the stock futures options, uh, it's better to avoid. So instead, you just uh, buy some top ten uh, stocks which is market by market cap. So these are stocks by market highest market cap, so that at least you not lose money. So select the top 10, 15 stocks, whatever the uh, stocks here, and if you have say uh, 10 lakhs, 20 lakhs, whatever capital, 50,000 rupees, just 50,000 rupees, you try this. Uh, you can try it out and uh, invest in these stocks. Uh, and uh, then you can make some gains actually. Only if you have to invest, you have to keep in cash or put in mutual fund uh, debt funds uh, that you can make money. Next, if you see the Kotak Bank, Kotak Bank also, if you see here, you made a good gain here. Just 4000 is profit because already is highly overvalued actually. Not much gains in Kotak Bank in the last two years completely. And uh, coming to Vipro, see all the stocks are overheated now. It is better that uh, you may not be seeing that uh, the big returns in the next year, almost uh, till 2024 actually. It's my, uh, based on Balantar cycle study, what is there? You may not be able to make much big money there in the next two years. So like this, uh, do trading only you have to do to make some money. So Vipro, if you see, it was a very good uh, return. Uh, 19,000 rupees profit was possible with just uh, 157 shares you buy this with one lakh rupees. And the 90 profit, 90 profit, almost 20 percent. It is a capital return you are getting here, one lakh rupees. But you have to be very, very uh, control, emotion controlling and so that in this cycle here, short cycle, even the market is going up or something, you should just avoid buying in the short cycle actually. And then here ACL Technologies, ACL Technologies, what is the profit you are making here? 97 points profit you are able to see in HCL Technologies. And then here, uh, three, see your favorites of whatever is there. Do the calculation uh, for buying and selling on full moon and new moon. And then you can just do the calculation and stick to some few stocks only. Don't go into all the stocks here. And this was very good performer. ITC was a very good performer in this lunar cycle. We were able to get almost uh, 24,000 profit in the lunar cycle based trading. And then here, Asian Paints. 
the Asian pains if what's the profit you are seeing you just see last six months nothing happened actually buying and holding but at least in the cycle you get 400 points gain 12,000 profit was possible and then if you see the Bajaj financial services so in this case here uh, it was a buy and hold was also 23 points loss for six months but uh, lunar cycle based trading gave 2500 points and then here in this case 15,000 rupees profit was possible six uh, buying six sessions only during lunar cycle so but it is slow and steady process uh, you should not be uh, seen this case if you uh, don't follow cycle here the stop loss hit here thousand points loss was there here if you cut down the position here this, this is the place where you have to take care of your emotions. Sometimes you think that, okay, we may be in, uh, making money here. We'll not, let us not cut the position. I'm a long-term investor. You may think and hold it also. But if you just, uh, what are you have to follow? You have to follow the rules very strictly. Sometimes it's like big loss. If you see here, in this case, uh, like in February 2020, it is a big loss here for Bajaj Finance. It's a 1,260 points loss. And in case of... Uh, not much if you see here only two times a big loss came actually for budget financial services otherwise we are able to make money in the budget financial services certain stocks it's better to avoid some uh, for cutting positions here when the uh, position is against the rule the rule is 2% stop loss titan if you just see titan here titan also made 22,000 profit so this is how the profit can be made in the using lunar cycle strategy and it's very good for people who are working professionals but you have to st strictly follow the rules whenever the stop loss hit you have to exit the position here and if you see this not that it's holy grail that you will make always money in this uh, sometimes small loss will come here also like at if you see it is a in two months it was lost so what happens after you take the position here two months it, uh, you start taking the position based on the strategy here and next two months also lost then you should not uh, think that this strategy doesn't work it happens like if you see two months in the completely two years uh, 27 months here how many months it was a failure here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 months was a failure here. So roughly 9 divided by 27 months means roughly 33 percent. One third of the time it has failed in this case actually, Titan. So uh, like this is possible, uh, holy grail is not there anything. Even 70 percent success ratio is good actually, but you have to follow strictly some rules. Rules based trading is only is going to give you money in the long run actually. So now the next cycle is going to start on the 31st March. So now based on this, uh, we are going to be in the long side from 31st March to 16th April. So this is how the lunar uh, based swing trading strategy works actually. Hope you like this video. Thank you so much. For